Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna talk about a little trick with GitHub, um, specifically about GitHub's wikis, which I use occasionally mostly as to-do lists. <laughs> I know they're not really intended for that. I mean, they can just be generalized documentation, uh, but I wanted to show you a cool little trick with those. Okay, so let me show you the wiki that I use the most, uh, which is in my Scratch repo. Uh, there is a there's a wiki here and I have a whole bunch of pages in here this happens to be the Anthony explains video idea wiki page and uh, spoilers I guess um, but this is basically how I keep track of what I'm gonna do with future videos and uh, you'll see it has you know quite a few revisions to it I've updated this page a lot I've made a lot of videos I have a lot of ideas uh, and that's <laughs> That's, that's kind of where this uh, wiki page comes from. Um, but you'll see I have a whole bunch of other wiki pages as well. Like I have this you know, pro tips page. There's the home that's auto-generated. There's you know, some links that I like to hand out um, pretty often. Uh, and it's, you know, it's kind of useful as a wiki. Uh, but sometimes, occasionally, I want to be able to programmatically change this wiki. And uh, it wasn't obvious to me how to do this at first, but I'm going to show you the trick that I... Uh, eventually figured out and I've been using ever since then. Um, so the cool thing about these wikis is they are actually just special Git repositories and you can access them by uh, taking your base repository name and then just putting dot wiki on the end. So if I were to do git clone git at github.com acetally scratch this will just get that scratch repository which doesn't have the wiki inside of it. This is just some miscellaneous like dot files and example code and uh, stuff that really hasn't you know, doesn't <laughs> doesn't have a place elsewhere. Um, but if we instead clone with dot wiki on the end, this is going to clone those markdown pages for me. And you can see that they're all here. And uh, if we open up, for instance, the Anthony explains ideas, you'll see that we just have a nice little markdown file here. And we can even look at the history of this as well. Uh, you'll notice here that. Um, some of the edits are made, uh, when, when the edit looks like this, it's usually coming from the GitHub editor. So I'm just clicking around editing this in the browser. Uh, but this commit actually comes from my chatbot, interestingly enough. Uh, Twitch chatbot, bot, plugins, video idea. So basically, I mean, you can't see all the code because it's off the screen or whatever. Um, but I have this special chatbot command that I use during my Twitch chat. And sometimes people will ask a question on stream and I'll be like, that's a good idea for a video. I'm going to go make a, a, a video about it. And so uh, I run the video idea command and it clones down that scratch repo and modifies that file and commits and pushes it. That way, you know, this is kind of the programmatic way to commit to this repository. And so that's where these particular commits come from. Um, but yeah, this, you know, this, this, little, this little trick has been super helpful for me for uh, managing this just as a normal Git repository. Uh, but there's other ideas that you could use here. One idea could be to have your CI system uh, automatically compile your markdown docs and put them into a wiki. Uh, you know, another, another idea would be to um, you know, use, this, use this as an actual checklist and to-do list instead of you know, just a silly markdown file. But yeah, it can be really useful. And uh, you know, being able to access it with Git is, is also pretty powerful. Um, we've used, I've used this as a, as a bit of a, a very lightweight docs, uh, setup in the past, but anyway, hopefully this little trick was helpful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms, but thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.